welders. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about uh, flux score NR232 by Lincoln. Um, I'm going to demonstrate on how to how to weld with this wire, how to set up your machine. Um, so the wire we're using is NR232 and the size is 068. And uh, my name is Dave Spinaccio in Northport, Florida. Okay. And the machine we're going to be using is the Big Blue 400D, and that's mounted on my truck. Okay, and uh, the wire feeder that we're going to be using is an N, is a Lincoln, and it's an LN25, and it looks like a suitcase. You put the wire inside, and it's portable. Okay, so uh, the wire, the wire speed that we're going to be welding with is going to be set at on the wire feeder. That's going to be set at 195 inches per minute, and then on the uh, the, the Miller welding machine, we're going to set the voltage, and that's going to be set at 23 and a half volts. And uh, we'll be welding in electro negative, which is the opposite of like stick welding, which is electrode positive. And uh, basically, the machine's already set up, but I'll go out there and demonstrate it in a second, show you some of the settings on my machine. And then, uh, last but not least, the, uh, the gun where the wire feeds through, there will be a one inch stick out. And that means from the contact tip, and there's a length of wire that sticks out, that'll be one inch. I'll show you that. And we'll be welding with approximately 300 amps. Okay, now I'm going to grab the camera, we'll walk up to the weld machine, and we'll turn it on. Okay, here's where we have electrode negative. That's already set. Here is for wire feeding, constant voltage. It's also set at constant voltage here. And here is the voltage. And it's set at 23 and a half volts. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, we're starting the machine. We're going to go inside. Okay, now here is the, uh, the LN25 that I was telling you about by Lincoln. Kind of looks like a suitcase. You can see there's a handle on top. It's portable. And the wire speed is already set at that knob right there. Can't see it, but it's at 200 amps. So 195 is what, between 200, 195, it's fine. I'm going to set you on the table. Have to make a couple adjustments here. Okay, this right here is a plate that we're going to be welding on. That's 3 eighths, the T joint. We're going to run one bead in the center, a fillet bead. Let me put on my safety glasses. I've got my green welding jacket, so I don't get any arc flash on my arms because we are welding at 300 amps. It will burn you. Got my old gloves on. And I do apologize because when it's welding, it's very, very smoky. And uh, I don't know if I need a special filter lens or what, but I'm running a uh, iPhone 5. And um, when I view it, you really can't see the weld bead like a normal welder would be watching through his uh, hood, you know, the 10 or number 11 lens. So I'm just learning about this stuff. But um, this is going to show you the basic technique of welding with um, Lincoln's NR232. So um, without th further ado, let me um, break off that tip and show you one inch stick out. Right there's the gun.
this is the brass contact tip right there. That's about one inch stick out. You have that much stick out when you're welding. That right there is touching the uh, the puddle. Now I'm gonna break this off. I always start off with a clean one. No flux into the tip. It's about one inch right there. All right, let's run a bead. Oh, and we're doing the drag technique. I'm going to be dragging this thing back, kind of like stick welding, uh, a little bit less than 90 degrees or whatever you want to call it. It's not 90 degrees and you're dragging it backwards. Maybe it's 75, I don't know. Yeah, it's smoky, it's smoky, but you're laying down a lot of wire too. There's a flux, it's gonna come off pretty nice. If you weld it good, it comes off easy. We're going to set that off to the side and I'm going to weld two beads on another piece I had welded earlier. Break that tip off. Now let's take this over into the light so you can see a little better.
That's kind of hard to see. Let's try back in here again. Yeah, my lighting's not the best. I apologize. That was just the one B. There's two beads. It's nice and smooth right here at the toe. Right in here needs a little bit of work. Down here at the toe is pretty good. But I think this demonstrates that uh, NR, NR232 is a pretty damn good wire. And um, I hope you enjoyed the um, this little welding demonstration. And uh, soon I'll be having a, um, a um, carbon arc gouging video. That should be pretty interesting. And uh, hope you enjoy at least some comments. And I appreciate it. Thank you.